Hey there, <laughs> it's y'all's channel. Hi guys, the name's Yolanda and welcome to my channel. I'm <laughs> still a bit fluish, um, but I decided to make this video for you guys and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up. So today's video is all about leave-in conditioners. I know a lot of people who actually don't use leave-in conditioners and they still expect their hair to sort of flourish and they, they don't fully understand why they actually need leave-in conditioners now. I honestly think that without leave-in conditioner being part of my hair routine, I don't think I would have gotten to the length that I have if I hadn't incorporated it into my hair routine. Okay, so many of you ladies might also be wondering why do I need a leave-in conditioner? I mean, I could just wash my hair with shampoo, condition it, and thereafter just moisturize it. Well, leave-in conditioner acts as a moisturizer, but one that is firstly water-based and Secondly, it is super, 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 super moisturizing to the hair for longer periods than just a normal moisturizer. At least in my opinion, that's what it's done to my hair and for me. So I'm going to show you guys the leave-in conditioners that have absolutely worked wonders for my full type hair. This is on Jackie's Curl La La for curls and quails. And at the moment, it's got my shea butter. But it's actually a curling custard, which I use as a leave-in conditioner, okay? Now, disclaimer, you can use a lot of other products as leave-in conditioner without them actually saying or pointing out the fact that they're leave-in conditioners. You just have to try them, which this I would definitely recommend if you haven't tried it. It's actually purple, light purple in color, and it smells like candy, sort of like... I mean, all Aunt Jackie's products have got a sort of candy, candy flossy smell, very sweet, but amazing. That was my phone. Um, but yeah, this is the Curl Alive Defining Curl Custard. I don't necessarily use it for curls. I just use it in my LOC method, which is, again, I've used, I've repeated this in my previous video, liquid oil and cream method. So after my wash and conditioner, I actually just start with this straight after, okay? Well, whichever leave-in conditioner I'm using at the time. So this I've used before. I used it last year and it's up now, but it's it works amazingly, okay? Um, the second product that I have tried and it's also worked really well for my hair is the elastic qp olive oil and mango butter so as for where to find it i can't find it on the net in south africa probably i mean unless if you can get uh, shipping using shapito from any other websites like ebay or um any other Amazon.com kind of websites, international websites. Otherwise, I can't find it anywhere in South Africa with our local SA based online stores. What I did try was a cash and carry store somewhere in Oriental Plaza. Yes, Oriental Plaza in that side, sort of Chinatown side. Mm -hmm. There's a massive Africa cash and carry, I think that's what it's called. And they sell these for like 80 bucks or something. Oh, by the way, Aunt Jackie, which I will add the, all the prices of these products. This was 60 bucks at clicks. This was 80 bucks at the like, cash and carry. And the consistency of the of this product, actually, ugh, it's got hair. Okay, sorry guys, but I mean, it's quite a thicker consistency than what I usually use for. But it's very similar to Aunt Jackie's, and doesn't smell too bad not overpowering as well I love pleasant smells because I don't want to be sitting next to people and they be thinking what what is this girl smelling does she eat that much sweets you know that many sweets English 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 but yeah um, obviously this is a product empty and I haven't used it in a while so this is really great I don't know if I try it again though I'm still deciding. I expected a lot more. There was a very big hype about this Elastic QP product, especially with uh, a lot of American girls were saying, it's so amazing. Oh my gosh, it is amazing. When I tried it out, I thought it was just a regular leave-in conditioner. Nothing really special about it, but here it is. Um, it's, it lasts a very long time and a little goes a long way, which I really love. I like Aunt Jackie's products. You actually have to use a lot of product there to see, to soak the hair in the leave-in conditioner. I mean, a lot of times you don't want the hair soaked necessarily, but I feel as though with Aunt Jackie's one, if you want to see the product working, you have to use a lot more. But with this one, I just use a tad bit and a little really goes a long way. And then in my previous video on my favorite hair products, I mentioned the Ultimate Organic Therapy leave-in conditioner. This is an olive oil one. This is great. I 
I mean, this for me is the best out of all these products. This one, as well as the one I'll show you next, also by Ultimate Organics. I absolutely love these products. I think that they are definitely underrated and underhyped, if there's a word like that. They're really amazing. In terms of consistency, they are very waterly, watery, um, because it is obviously, I hope you guys can see this. It is obviously water-based, which is what you want your leave-in conditioners to always be. I've got the shakes for some reason today, and that's probably because I'm on so much meds. I don't know, I'm on so many meds, just to get better. Um, but yeah, this is amazing on hair, and I, I mean, I use this all the time, literally. On all my wash days, I'd rather use an Ultimate Organics product than the ones that have actually been hyped about. I think it's better than the Cola Law, I think it's better than the Elastic QP one, um, and it's much cheaper. This is 30, 30 odd bucks. I'll definitely put the price down below for you guys. It was definitely in the 30s and available at clicks. So get yourself Ultimate Organics. Either the olive oil base, this is great for relaxed hair as well. Oh my gosh. It literally glides on relaxed hair. If you use this after your wash day and your hair is freshly relaxed or it's a few weeks, you know, after post relaxer, it is amazing. The other one that I really, really love, also great for relaxed hair, it's the Ultimate Organic Therapy and it's a leave-in hair mayonnaise. Exactly the same as this one, except that the ingredients, obviously this is protein, this is moisture. If you are relaxed, I definitely recommend this one, but if you are able to afford both of them, definitely switch it up. You know, twice a month use this, twice a month use that alternatively. I love these products. Both of them are similar in terms of consistency. This one's yellow in color. Obviously it's an empty, but I've always, always run to the shops to refill this one. It's a definite repurchase. I will buy this again. It's one of those products where you rave and rave and rave, and I feel like they just need to be raved about a lot more so that more girls can use these and more girls can see the results that I've seen using these products. Now say you are just like me. When I first heard about leaving conditioners, I didn't know Know what to use and where to start you know um, and you might not even be able to you might not be in a position where you can afford a leave in conditioner right now use your regular conditioner okay yes I just did I just said that use a regular conditioner as a leave-in conditioner now there are definitely two conditioners that have worked for me as leave-ins the Alviv Renutrition, I think it is. Yes, L'Oreal Alviv Renutrition is a, a regular conditioner. I mean, it's but the key is for dry hair. Okay, anything for our ethnic hair, choose dry hair. If there's an option for dry hair, choose it because they add extra moisture to compensate for the lack thereof. Right? Makes sense. So anyway, I have used this as a leave-in conditioner, and it you. It works you don't even have to mix this with an oil you just have to use it on its own in terms of consistency it's similar very similar to the one the elastic QP one um, but it does not actually have that white residue that's that leaving sometimes you know leaves on our hair so I would recommend that you if you you can get yourself this and you want to use it as both a conditioner and a leave-in conditioner definitely do so and I mean you don't have to spend a lot of money trying to get your hair to a, a healthy state you know this is the elastic elastic QP intense fortifying hair conditioning treatment I tried this as a treatment and it actually did not leave my hair incredibly soft as they describe it to you do um, instead I tried it as a leave-in conditioner and by just adding an oil just regular extra virgin olive oil it works as a leave-in conditioner so what do I need Jelena to get that you need to get yourself a container of any sort whether it's like this this is a regular I mean I get these at this camp um, it's a regular lotion container you know it's just got this flap over here it's got coconut oil at the moment but all you'll do is literally, obviously this is coconut oil at this point, add that in there just like that, any day now. It's very light in consistency and if I want to use it I'll have to probably leave it in the sun or put it in boiling water because that's coconut oil. I would use olive oil rather with this conditioner. And then yeah, I utilize this product. For me, the reason I used it as leave-in conditioner is because I hate wasting product. And there's a whole lot of product here which I won't be using as a treatment. I have so many more effective hair treatments which I make myself. And I've bought the Garnier one which I've mentioned is one of them that are really, really good. So there's no need for me to use this as a, leave as a treatment. However, I hate 
hate wasting products so as an alternative I use it as a leave-in conditioner by simply adding an oil alrighty that is all about leave-in conditioners I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video if you guys still don't understand you know the whole leave-in conditioner thing um, I would definitely suggest that you do some reading up on it and watch more YouTube videos about it leave-in conditioners just help moisturize the hair and it, they, they're obviously water-based and so it's easy for the hair to obviously just soak it up and absorb it that is why it's excellent for our hair again i love you guys so much please do subscribe if you already haven't and of course give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it Ooh. cheers guys Mwah.